Hello and welcome to Flory Models Friday Roundup Show. Here we are with you on the 21st of January 2022. Wow, this month's really flying by, but I have to say I am thoroughly enjoying it. Some of the builds we're working on at the moment are somewhat challenging, shall we say. Uh, no more so than this. This is actually the Ravel, oh, box lids over there, uh, the Ravel 32nd uh, F18F. Um, part one of this one is went up with you. Have a look at that in a moment, but I have to say, I'm enjoying it. Do you know what's really funny about this? Sometimes, obviously, I build loads and loads of kits, and most of them go together with no real problems at all. Like we said, really, the last 20 years of modeling has been somewhat of a turning point with CAD, and obviously with you know that type of design process. It's very rare that a kit slips through the net, shall we say, and you have big fit issues. Because normally, the manufacturers, through doing it in CAD, they can see roughly what they're doing, and then they normally do a 3D test shot of it. They put that together just to make sure that's fine. Then they do a proper test shot after tooling's done and just to make sure everything is okay and then it's all signed off and then we get the finished kit at the end of it. So normally if there's a fit problem or something that's well out of whack somewhere along the line, it's picked up in that process. So we now don't see those errors come through, apart from Revel who seem to just let them through and worry about the modeler to deal with it. But I have to say, I find the challenge of doing it part of modeling. So, you know, perhaps I'm just the, one of the minority out there. Please give me your feedback. Tell me what you think to this as well. But as a modeler, I enjoy the challenge. You know, it's that thing. You've got it. It's not quite going together. So you have to use the old gray matter a bit to figure out why it's not going. And then obviously you've got the big thing of, okay, so that's the reason how we're going to fix it. So does this mean literally taking you know a couple of mil out uh, to make it fit in there does it mean perhaps you need to reshape some of the parts perhaps it might be just a case of there's a little bit of flash in the way or an ejector pin or something like that and you know within a few minutes you can roughly work it out perhaps do a little bit of test fitting and solve the problem and I do enjoy that part of it and hopefully this is probably going to be enough to hold itself together here but this little guy down in here, if I just turn the camera on here, if we go a bit closer, is a classic example because, you know, and I've spoken about this at length and I'm not going to bore you to death with it all, but just to get to this stage has been somewhat of a challenge and it needs filler yet and it all needs cleaning up and everything, but we've basically got it all shoehorned into position now and we're all ready to go. All right. So again, it's just one of those areas where if you watch the video, it, you'll know that the, uh, even the instructions tell you it's wrong and how to fix it which is fair enough but then I've had to go a few steps further to make it all fit in here and get it all to line up and you know basically to behave um, but again I've actually enjoyed that process it's one of those weird things where you know okay it's just not going that's sort it that's fix it and now I'm quite impressed with it. Yeah, we've got to do all the cleanup work and sanding and filling, rescribing, re riveting, and all stuff that technically you probably wouldn't have to do if the kit went together, no problem at all. But it's what I call part of the modeling process. And it's what I enjoy about modeling. I enjoy having a little bit of a challenge. And I've spoken about this many times before. Some of my most fun builds have been things like Trumpeter's 70 second bear bomber because the engine, the cells just don't fit on there. So you have to go and go around and rescribe and, you know, you know, take care of it all. We've done other ones. Like, to be honest, we were working with... Um, that's going to sound like a bit of a broken record here, but it's not deliberately picking on Ravel, but Ravel Spitfire, which we used for the tutorial section. And the reason we used it for the tutorial section is that thing where, yeah, it's not brilliant uh, and it's got some faults, but it was an ideal thing to show people how you fix faults. So it's that thing about test fitting, using plastic card as a filler for using it as shims, using filler, having then to remove filler, sanding, and then obviously everything that goes with it, rescribing, putting in riveting detail and stuff. So that was a great thing about it because it was good that you could show all those different things down in there but again it's one of those ones where actually I'm thoroughly enjoying this more than I thought and I know and I've just seen a couple of comments up there from you guys who have said that you've been this kit and you know it's a nightmare and you've gone down the trumpeter route and I don't blame you in a lot of ways if time is precious to you then you know and you just want to have a nice relaxing build then yeah I've got the growler kit sat down there as well and trust me like I said on last night's show it wouldn't take much for me to suddenly the plastic to change colour and oh we're actually doing the trumpy one but and now we're to this point and I actually got it somewhat together. I think there is a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but yeah, so if you, you know, you weren't planning on watching this build, uh, the particular video build, which 
if I put it up on here now, you can see it. So now it's up in tutorial section and obviously it'll link across to everywhere. You can see it just down in here. You know, it might be one just to follow along with this particular build because again, it's not just gonna be a case of, oh, we're gluing a couple of bits together now. Oh, isn't it fantastic? Isn't this a brilliant kit and blowing sunshine? up its proverbial rear through the entire of the build and then coming out and saying that was fun. This one's gonna be one of those builds where, yeah, it makes a little bit of work, you know? It's gonna be one of those which is gonna be at the end of it, do you know what, it's really challenging, but I've done it and I've got a great sense of satisfaction. And I can look around here at the models I've built over the last sort of 20 years. Uh, and it is that thing, some of them, our dreams. I've got Winged Up Wings kits here. We've got Tamiya kits here. We've got, you know, Zukamori kits here. We've got, you know, ICM. I still think fantastic kits. They fall together and everything in between. But I've also got kits I look around here like the Bear Bomber, like the A10C in 30 second scale, you know, and other ones we've had sort of challenges with. But, you know, it's a great kit and it went together really well at the end of it. The VC10 is probably the one that puts the shivers in most people's minds when we were ended up cutting the front end off and re angling it, having to re profile the entire front of the aircraft things like that again they're ones I know a lot of people would not go near but honestly sometimes I think it's that thing having a few challenges along the way it just you know it puts a little dimension onto it that you know it's wrong you know it's going to take a little bit of work so you literally you know just taking your time and going through and like I've said in the build it's honestly probably only put another couple of hours work on this uh, so far to fix all the little problems with the kit. So in some ways, yes, okay, you could go down and you know it'd be nice if it was fantastic, but it's only another couple of hours work and it's been really enjoyable. And I've actually gone through the process now of think, looking at it going, the light is at the end of the tunnel now. We've done all the hard work. The rest of it seems to be going together quite nicely. So we should be able to move on with the build quite quickly. Uh, you know, and I still have that thing where a lot of people will go, oh no, it's horrible and it's rubbish and everything else. And we've still got a lot to work to do with it. but. But, you know, at the end of it, I can, even if we stop now, I'll be like, do you know what? I was happy. It went together. We got it sorted. It's all good. We can just move on from it. So, yes. But anyway, follow on with that build. Say, it's up there right now uh, for members to watch. And as I say, I'll put up part two on Monday because, to be honest, I spent so much time getting this thing sorted. I haven't actually got on with the Hurricane this week. So, next week, I'll be out back on with the Hurricane. So, the next part of the Hurricane build, we'll be up with you on Friday working our way through. And that thing should be coming together by then as well. So, that one is uh, pushing on very nicely. But it's two big projects at the moment and say we're doing this one here and then uh, obviously in the video build section it's the quickest way to find them all. Uh, working along with the Hurricane as well, we've been working in here and we've been adding a little bit of detail. We're going to do some more detailed work around the engine and things like that down in here. So that should be nice. So we're going to actually open up the entire front end of this Hurricane, going to put in all the framework and everything else required so we can show off that gorgeous engine. So uh, definitely going to be well worth going there. So with the two builds going at the moment, with obviously with the Hurricane build and then obviously with this one, uh, we're quite full on with it. But actually Actually really really enjoying it and obviously soon we'll be into paint the next couple of builds that I'll be doing will be a lot more straightforward with any luck but like I said it'll be one of those it will sit no doubt over there because the only room I've got these days and it'll be one of those where do you know what that was a really good build thoroughly enjoyed it but I'd love to know your opinions on this do you like the challenge of a kit do you like to build the older kits the classic kits out there I know we spoke about it when we we're talking about airfix uh, which are still releasing their old classics under their classic series of kits they are challenging kits but you have that real sense of achievement once you put them together? Or do you prefer the more modern way of doing it? Let's face it, as a lot more of the more man modern manufacturers now are releasing pretty much step-by-step -step builds which don't give the modeler any challenges or fixes to take care of. Do you prefer that? Is that more of your laid back, relaxed, just doing it, it's fun build right the way through? Like I said before, it's that thing about Bandai and Lego. You know, as far as I'm concerned, they're the two best modeling skills you can do because there's no real fit problems they just fall together everything else has little tweaks and various things but let's face it we can all name companies who we trust to deliver us a pretty much straightforward out of the box build will be no problem at all and we've got manufacturers out there you know what are going to be somewhat challenging shall we say i'm going to actually push you to do things and you know perhaps have to design your own parts or make you know shims and you know bits to make it work and that's the only way it's going to work so if you don't it's not even going to go together we've all been there we've all had kits like that but anyway love to have your feedback on that one as well put it down in the show notes down below Anyway, this week all started really, we popped down to here, 
Uh, obviously, on Saturday, we were working on the Yellow Wonder uh, with the rest of the guys. <laughs> that was down in there as well. And uh, so we were going through all the motions about it uh, down on the Saturday show. Sorry, that's not even the Saturday show, is it? Where's the Saturday show? Here's the Saturday show. There we go, the Yellow Wonder. So obviously, I've started on the CL215, uh, part of our live series. So it's great to have you all along with us on Saturday. And it was going so well. We even went for another three quarters of an hour afterwards uh, on that particular one. Monday, because of everything that was going on, I was playing catch up and sorting out various bits and pieces. So there wasn't actually any parts up on Monday. Uh, so we went straight into Tuesday where we were showing off that gorgeous engine. Because I have done a lot more work on the engine for the Hurricane and things like that. But the big news, obviously, for uh, Tuesday was the reveal show uh, for the videos uh, for your great work from the actual group build. So you can go off and you can see that. It's linked down here as well. So this is the final reveal for the Comrade Buller SIG or the USSR SIG that we had running uh, the last part of last year. Uh, so that was up with you on there. On uh, Wednesday, it was the PM show. So obviously it's me, Matt and Andy, and we were talking all things from the PM store, what's going on, what's happening in the modeling world and what we're looking forward to coming along as well. So if you want to see that particular show, that was up with you as well. Uh, there's a couple of other things in there as well. One of the things we were talking about is train looting. The video for the link of it is in there. Obviously I couldn't show it because it's not my video. But also Matt did put up as well on uh, Wednesday, uh, the next part, part three of the Dragon build. So this is his Dragon one. It's talking about the painting and going through the painting series of this one. This this is free to watch you can watch it obviously on the Florian model site or directly on the PM models YouTube channel so if you want to go off on that one just click down here you can subscribe underneath there as well and you can watch that one uh, and then there's a bonus one because obviously the camera is just rolling so we've used it uh, and Matt's doing the actual modeling techniques and the post shading work and everything else like that so if you want to see all about those particular videos on the Sherman uh, it is free to watch you can go off and see that one just now as well down on there uh, last night we had the live show so that was a good old fashioned uh, giggle with all of us again we're trying our sort of new, for new format it's more laid back it's more relaxed we're answering your questions and obviously the guys were building as well I don't know what we were laughing about and that isn't even my thumbnail that's YouTube picking that one uh, so that is up with you right in there as well so lots of stuff going in that part the forum as I said before we've got lots of stuff going on uh, down in here as we're working our way through obviously we've got the new group builds have started now uh, which are down the bottom here. Uh, so there we go. So we've actually got the 60s group build is started. You've got until the 30th of June down in there. We've got 75 entries already down in there. We've got three finishers. We'll be showing more of these on the Tuesday show uh, as we make our way through. And the other one we've got going is the Flashpoint SIG as well. So that's obviously only a SIG. So it's only three months long. So you've got until the 30th of April to finish that one. And again, we've got 62 down in there. We've actually got seven finishers right the way through on those particular ones. Obviously, Obviously, up with you at the end of the show, we will be having the uh, final reveal video from the last group build of last year as well. So that is the actual, uh, the 60s one is going to be up with you on there. So we're doing the 70s one for the beginning of this year. So that will be in here as well. So if you want to see it, it is down in here somewhere. There we go. Sorry, it's the Out of Africa group build. I'm getting confused with them all here. Uh, obviously, the final ones are down in here. It is unlocked and everything else like that. So if you want to post comments and various things as well, you can see that one. I have ordered all the medals because obviously it's the last time we're doing medals. Uh, they've all been ordered. Obviously, the closing date for that was actually last weekend. So if you haven't got them in now, tough. I know a couple of you have come through. I have, as always, ordered a few extras just in case any get lost or broken or just go missing in general. So uh, as I said before, to those people, obviously you're on a little bit of a list. It is on a first come surf, first surf with the medals and everything else like that. But if we have got any left over, then obviously by all means, I will send them out to those people who came in this week asking for a medal, even though we closed the date for them last week uh, again. So uh, apologies for that one, but that's the way it works at the moment with those. So yes, and that is about it. We've got some other news coming in though for uh, obviously hot off the press on PM models. And that is because they've got two pre-orders which are very, very limited. Uh, the first one is, not that one, Sorry, they've all moved since I was looking at it about five minutes ago. Uh, there we go, the Fairy Flycatcher. If you are interested in this model, we've got a Flory Models pre-order up at the moment. So we've got it up there for £40.99p. Uh, but we need to know now, literally, because this pre-order is going to close very, very quick. Again, so it literally, we need to get these numbers done by mid next week, I think it is. So if you are interested in this fantastic aircraft, and apparently, I've never heard of them, but uh, Armoury Models make 
beautiful and this kit apparently is absolutely stunning so if you are into your sort of you know your biplanes uh, and things like that and you are after a fairy flycatcher this is definitely going to be the one for you we've got it in sort of three flavors as well you've got the early production the late production and we've got the one on floats so if you are interested please put your name down now because we need to know by mid next week on that particular one the other one that up as well, which is a very limited one uh, because literally we only found out uh, this week, is for the Fine Molds uh, F4 Phantoms. So obviously they do a fantastic you know, fleet of them as you can see. We've got these ones down in here. So it is on a pre-order, but it's gonna be a very limited pre-order because we're very late to the party on this one. And so we didn't really find out until this week. So if you are interested, pop your name down. And again, it'll be on a first come first serve for the first run of these. Hopefully we'll get some more in uh, afterwards but uh, obviously you guys will get first dibs if you're interested in any of these ones and say pop your name down and then obviously all the stock we have will go to you guys if we've got any left over afterwards obviously it'll make its way out but again it's very limited so make sure you put your name down on that particular one uh, other things obviously going on at uh, new arrivals on the pm store uh, we've got various ones in uh, came in just literally after we went on air uh, on wednesday and that is the new uh, armor hobby 70 second scale p51 bc kit again this is the one with the fantastic markings for them all and things like that beautiful kit again matt's sending me one down for a review next week to have a look at but if it's anything like their hurricane it's going to be an absolutely stunning kit uh, full stop with there again the hellcats came in we've got the bike came in and all the other ones this week right the way through oh look it's sold out we were talking about that uh, on the wednesday show uh, as you make your way through all right uh the p-class zeppelin again there is a full video build of that uh, review of that one up as well video build i wish i might build it you never know at one point uh but if we can get this to lock in there we go we've got beautiful work on this one as you can see the full review of this kit is up with you but as you can see some fantastic markings. You can really go to town on this one. It's quite a large lump, as you'll see in a minute. So it's a good, solid, chunky plastic as well. So it's not going to be a lightweight, but uh, really very, very nice. If you remember, it's about 46 centimeters long. So it's quite a big old beast. Quite simple as it goes together, but you can do a massive job on the painting and weathering on this particular one being fabric. So again, really very, very nice indeed. So that review is up there if you want to see that one in there. Uh, special section in the PM store is just down in here. Uh, we've got the Tamiya Tomcat on sale. Again, great price at uh, £84. Very nice. A classic kit, which is the 48 scale Swordfish. This is the Mark II. That one is up there as well. We've got some other bits and pieces of Dragon, some Hobby Boss, and again, some more of the Tamiya ones down in here. Some of the classics. Uh, as you can see right the way through and at the bottom I think we've got some of our damage boxes ones down in here as well so if you want to uh, have a look at those you can do and also in the PM store this week we had a full restock of uh, Hitaka paints uh, we've got thinners uh, we've got um, the guns thinners as well so we've got the rapid drying thinners the normal thinners and things like that and self-leveling thinners as well they all came back in stock as well as all the primers uh, and that type of thing as well and fillers and various things so if you want to grab any of those they are available from the PM store as well. And that is about it for this week. Uh, there's no Saturday show this week, but as I say, I'm talking to Matt about those. We're going to be doing a lot more of those with you in the near future as we make our way through. And again, you can get the next full, the first part of this one up, and then part two will be up with you on Monday for the actual Super Hornet build before we get back on with the Hurricane. So anyway, that's about it from me this week. So I'm going to leave you with your fantastic work from the Out of Africa group build that obviously finished uh, at the end of last year. As I say, as soon as the medal's in, I will get them out to you. I've got your names and addresses. They're all over here all ready to be printed off uh, and I'll get them at you just as soon as they come in hopefully it should be within the next week to 10 days they'll be here and I'll get them all out to you for the last time anyway that's it from me happy modeling take care I'll catch you all on Monday <laughs>